Hey everybody, it's Nate from Adventure in a Backpack. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit of uh, going backwards and we are gonna talk about scribing. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So as you're seeing here, this bottom of this cardboard is square and this cabinet is, or this, uh, this countertop is square. And so we are just gonna line the two of those square pieces up. See how we have a little bit of a, uh, of a gap right down here. That's what we are going to be getting rid of. So what I have is I have these three things, these three circular pieces. So basically it's just a lid to some kind of container, a lid to a smaller container, and then a washer. So basically what you're going to do is you're gonna stick your pin through the hole in the middle and you're gonna push the edge of the circle. Oh, I'm having to do it left-handed. Okay, push the edge of the circle up to the wall and you're going to go up and down the wall like so like that okay and what that does that gives me a nice little line right there that I'm going to cut off line up the square on the top on the on the bottom here and then we're just going to slide it on up so you see that's already pretty close I didn't get it super, super close because uh, it was just our first pass and that will be cut off anyway, like you'll see here. So we take this again, put our pin, put our pin through the, uh, the middle hole of that lid. And now we're gonna cut that off. But I do wanna also make note that once you get down to the bottom, your pin won't go all the way down to the bottom. So that's one of those things you would just want to eyeball all the way down. And you can kind of see where that curve is. And then just finish it on out. You shouldn't have to finish it out more than about an inch, inch and a half. Okay, and there we are. Honestly, that looks that looks really, really good. I mean, we are, uh, yeah, maybe a maybe an eighth of an inch gap there, perhaps. You know, way, way close. Okay, so if we want to get even closer than that, just take a pencil just, and you can literally hold it flat against the wall. and drag it up in the same manner. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be level or anything like that. It just needs to be flat along the wall. Because basically what you're doing is whenever you have that pin through that hole, you've got a little bit of distance between there and the outside of there. And all this is doing is you're just decreasing that distance from the lead to the edge of the pencil. So that is really, really precise at that point. Slide it back up again. And yeah, I mean, the first time around it was it was way sufficient. It was totally fine. Um, I don't think it's any more close or any further off that time around. But that's how you would get closer on something that needed to be closer on. Okay, so let's say that you got into a spot where there was either a more, more technical, uh, you know, kind of more technical shape that you're having to cut around, or let's just say that you're uh, somehow you missed. Okay, so let's say we are off just right there at the very top. I'll take my template up in place so it's not going anywhere. And then what I'm gonna do is get some hot glue, popsicle sticks work really, really good for this, but. Okay, and what you're gonna do, you're just gonna put a little dab of glue on the back. Put it up there to where it needs to be. And hold it to the cardboard. Next one. A little dab of glue. A 
hold it to the cardboard. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna go for this particular uh, tutorial on that. Um, but obviously I think you get the point with how that's looking. So as you can see, that is just, I mean, it's right up tight and then you'd be able to draw a line from that to fix, uh, to fix the spot where you've got a gap. Okay, so anyway, I believe that is all that is gonna cover. I think that explains it a little better than, uh, than we did in the previous video. So anyway, um, if it was handy, let me know. If I miss some things, also let me know because this is kind of new to me as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more van life tutorials and adventures and all that good stuff. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you later.